Hey everybody, Phil Swanson here, Senior Director of Fleet at Generac Clean Energy, and I'm back with PowerCell Pro Tips. Today's topic is troubleshooting an automatic transfer switch, or the ATS. First, let's ensure that the inverter mod settings are properly configured. The set point num trans switch should be set to match the amount of transfer switches connected to the inverter, not necessarily the number of ATSs on site. In this case, we can see that num trans switch is set to one. Next, let's make sure that the protected loads breaker is set to the on position. We're also going to want to confirm that the protected loads output is properly wired to the ATS. Now, let's ensure that the protected loads output from the inverter is properly landed on the E1 and E2 terminals. Power from the inverter performs the backup transfer operation, so the mechanism moves down. Power from the grid performs the return utility transfer operation, so the mechanism will move to the up position. Next, check the field installed wiring. Make sure that the CAT5 CTs and the CAT5 inverter ATS control are not crossed or mixed up. In this case, we've labeled our inverter ATS control in black. Confirm that the utility connection is landed on N1 and N2. T1 and T2 should go to the loads. Next, check factory installed wiring and components. With the power removed, check to make sure the contactor assembly moves freely. Also look for any damaged coils or spade terminals. Finally, confirm the ATS controller part number located on the top left corner of the controller. The part number should end in 2225. If you're still having problems with your PowerCell ATS, please contact our technical support team and we'd be happy to help. We'll see you next time on PowerCell Pro Tips. Thanks for watching.